Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will cover number bonds to 100. Number bonds to 100. Now if you recall in one of the earlier tutorials we did number bonds to 10. And this is how we did it. First we wrote the numbers down from 0 to 5 on the left hand side and right beside them we wrote the numbers 5 to 10 going from bottom to top. Okay, I'm sure you're familiar with this. Then we circled the sets of numbers 0 and 10, 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, and 5 and 5. Now, what did we notice about them? They all added to make 10. Those were the number bonds to 10. We're going to use these now to work out the number bonds to 100. Let's begin with our first example. We've got number 57 plus something equals 100. It is a plus question. So what number added to 57 gives 100? I'm sure some of you can work this out quite quickly. Let's go through this methodically. We're going to start with the 57. Now look at the digit on the right. The 7. That's the unit. Now the question says what, what we have to do is to get this 7 to become a 0. Because this is also the units. So we have to get 7 to become a 0. And we're doing addition. So we can't take away 7. We have to add a number to it which makes it go to 0. And the only number which we can add that makes it go to 0 is... Look at the number bonds. It's over here. 7 and 3. So we have to add 3 to it. If we add 3 to it, what does it become? 7 plus 3 is 10. I put 1 over here. Now we add the 10s. 5 plus the 1 is 6. Now this 3 we can add over here. So we've got the 3 we need to turn the unit into 0. Now we have to work on the 10s. Now don't forget, we no longer have 5 10s because the 5 became a 6. So we have to get the 6 now to become now we can say 0 again, but just to make it simpler, we're going to say we want it to become 10. So we look at this together, the 10. Okay? So how does 6 become 10? Have a look at the chart on the left, because we're using it again. Here it is. It's 4. We add 4 to it. And there we have it. 57 plus 43 equals 100. So the number we were looking for was 43. Now, did you understand that? If not, doesn't matter. We're going to go through one more example. This time the missing number is at the beginning. We've got plus 38 equals 100. Now this is again a plus question. So therefore, what number added to 38 gives 100? Okay, I want you to have a quick try at this. We're going to work through it again in the same format. Look at the number 38. There's a unit. It is 8. There are 8 units. And in the question it says we have to get the 8 units to become 0. Now we can't take away 8 because it's a plus question. So what number added to 8 gives 0? Look at the chart on the left. I'll just draw a line over here just to make it easier. Here we go. It is 2. 2 plus 8 equals 10. So let's add the 2. So now 8 plus 2, add the units. 8 plus 2 is 10. 1, 0. Now add the 10s. 3 plus the 1 over here is 4. Now this 2 we can add to the number we're trying to find. So we can write 2 over here. Now we have to work out the tens. Don't forget, we no longer have three tens. That's gone. Three became four. 
when we added the two. These four tens, now we have to get them to become ten. Okay? Ten. We're looking at that number together, ten. So what number added to four gives ten? Again, look at the chart on the left. We've got it here. It is six. And that is our answer, 62. So the number added to 38 to give 100 is 62. Now you have a practice with some numbers and see if you can make them total 100. What number do you have to add to them?